how to use the local DNS in OpenSense. It is extremely important if you are running the applications or the microservices at your home lab. So it is important to provide the DNS entry for that. So I'm using Nginx reverse proxy. One of the applications that I'm using locally is na10.syncbricks.com. Ping na10.syncbricks.com. It is pointing to the external IP address. And if I try to access the, this is in fact redirecting to na10.io, but I want to host my application, which is already running on Nginx reverse proxy right now. na10.syncbricks.com is locally hosted here. Of course, all these applications are hosted on this particular IP address, which is 10.11.12.6. 10.11.12.6 is my reverse proxy. Here you can see this is working right now, Nginx reverse proxy. So Nginx reverse proxy is in fact uh, my web server or reverse proxy server. So all the applications are locally hosted here. Now, for example, if I try to access psb1.syncbricks.com, I won't be able to ac access anything here. And if I try to ping also, ping psb1.syncbricks.com and you can see ping response is not there. So it means that I need to create the DNS record for psb1.syncbricks.com and it, at the same time I can create ping na10.syncbricks.com. So you can see here right now it is pointing to the external IP but I want to point it to the local IP. So how we'll do that in OpenSense? So once we log into OpenSense, we'll be simply going here to services and in services you have here unbound DNS. Unbound DNS is in fact your DNS server. So these are all the details available. For example, if I click on statistics, how many DNS entries have been requested and how many are uh, satisfied and so on. I have already explained you all the settings related to the unbound DNS in the DNS section, but here we'll be only talking about adding the uh, local DNS. If I click on override, you can see here there are two type of overrides. One is the host override, another is alias override. You will simply add the host name, for example, I will add naten and domain will be syncbricks.com and type will be IPv4 and I'll be adding 10.11.12.6 that you have already seen Nginx reverse proxy 10.11.12.6. So every web application that I'll be adding, I will be adding uh, the IP address of that. So 10.11.12.6, I will say nginx reverse proxy server. So we will do like that. So this is one entry which I have added. So I will be adding, for example, psb one thinkbricks.com and that will also be 10.11.12.6. And similarly, I can um, write like this and then I can keep copying this and only edit the uh, host name. So it will be psb2. And as I have already defined in Nginx reverse proxy that what is PSB1, what is PSB2 and what is PSB3, I will simply go back to OpenSense and I will apply the changes now. It will definitely start updating DNS record, but you need to make sure that your DNS server is the same 192.168.1.1. So you can also add here the host alias is also, for example, if you have nn.syncbricks.com, you can have another host name also, for example, automation dot syncbricks.com and so on you can add multiple aliases for this also in case you want to have uh, for the same uh, dns host that you have added so you will be adding the host override here and then the aliases for these will be added over here just apply the changes here now the moment you apply the changes of course you will be able to now ping and you will be getting response from here psb1 dot syncbricks.com now you can see it is giving the response back uh, from 10.11.12.6 and now for the safe side, for example, if I try to open psb1.syncbricks.com, so I'm able to uh, reach to the host. And if I do psb2.syncbricks.com, I'll also create one record, for example, 10.11.12.104, colon 8006. This is also one of the Proxmox servers. I want to create the DNS record for this as well. I will be creating the record here, and that record will be add a proxy host it will be protectly.syncbricks.com and its ip address will be https this is for proxmox by the way 10.11.12.104 and its uh, port is 8006 i'll be going to ssl and i will be choosing the ssl certificates for syncbricks.com force the ssl 
HTTP2 support and I will also do one thing I will go back here and I will use the WebSocket support as well so I'll save the changes now if you see I have already added protectly.syncrix.com but of course it won't point anywhere because I have not added the DNS entry right now so I'll just go back here to the OpenSense in override I will add another DNS entry which will be protectly syncrix.com will be the domain name and the IP address is again 10.11.12.6 and here I will mention for Proxmox protectly and save the changes now the moment I save the changes I'll apply it and the DNS server will update and I can simply go back here and I will do IP config slash flush DNS and then I will do ping protectly dot dot com and till now it has not uh, got the response back let me check again if the dns entry is correct protectly ping protectly dot dot com now you can see here i'm getting the response and here you can see now protectly dot dot com and i'm able to now get the access here and everything is working fine here now and i'm also able to access the ssh because the WebSocket support is enabled. So this was all about using the DNS records or local DNS for uh, OpenSense. And in OpenSense, the easiest way is that you will simply navigate to services. You will go to the uh, unbound DNS. In unbound DNS, you will click on override. And here you will be able to add the host overrides. We will also see what other aspects in DNS can be done in OpenSense.